Hi, this is Hilton Goldstein at AirVenture 2013 and what I'll be showing today is Wing X Pro 7 version 7 which is a new release we just came out with a couple weeks ago and what we've added is the new uh, Baron services weather which is incredible weather, Nexrad, satellite infrared, satellite winds so you can get surface winds uh, graphics and so we work, we've been working with them for a couple months now and we've come out with some great new features that I'll show you and then we have some new things coming out later this year so it's, it's very exciting for us to be to be adding weather. Um, so the great thing with, with the Wing X Pro 7 moving map is, is the split screen. So for example, you can have a, a sectional and a high and low IFR, for example, like that. Wing X will be putting up the uh, weather conditions, such as cloud coverage. If you want, you can swap the, uh, the screens, and whether you're using it in uh, landscape or portrait, Wing X will automatically just uh, adjust to that. Uh, Wing X also has a uh, terrain profile, and so you can actually see along your route what the terrain is going to look like. If you set it in GPS mode over there, it'll actually look ahead. So as you're turning and a mountain, you know, you, you turn towards a mountain, you'll suddenly get a big red blob over there, which, which is fantastic for, for route planning. And to get rid of it, you simply just tap on the terrain. Now what we've seen is we've got a nice big chunk of red and green stuff. Uh, and that is the radar that you're familiar with. Nice thing with Wing X is you can change this now, you can change the transparency. So for example, that's full transparency. If we want to make it more transparent, you'll notice how now we can start seeing what's underneath with a sectional. We can change the speed, we can change it low, medium, or fast. And then you can see it's a much faster uh, animation. We can even change the resolution. So for example, if you're in a hotel room or you're standing outside of an airport and you don't have a good internet connection, we can change the resolution. So you can say low resolution, and what that does is, is reduce the memory that needs to be downloaded over the internet, and that lets you get the weather conditions uh, uh, much more reliably. Um, we have a whole list of uh, weather from, from our friends at Baron Services. Uh, one that I like to use is the surface winds. Now what's really nice with the surface winds, um, it'll take a while to load and we're in a metal hangar here at, at AirVenture. But what will happen is um, you'll see that you don't have to be looking at METARs or wind conditions in, 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 in the METARs or overlaid on the map. But you'll actually see some nice greens and, and, and yellows and, and oranges showing up. And you can take a look at a broad area and see uh, what, the, what the winds are doing. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not getting it because it still says loading. We're in this, like I said, this metal hangar. Let me zoom in a little bit on Florida and see if uh, maybe that'll help. Um, but the, the, the weather conditions, the, I mean, sorry, the weather products that we have with Baron Services are, are tremendous. And what the nice thing about it is that Baron Services provide the same weather to the folks with XM. And so you're really getting XM uh, weather products at a higher resolution and it's for free on Wing X Pro 7. As long as you have an internet connection, you can get it. And then once you're in flight, we have a choice of 10 different ADS-B receivers you can choose from.